remember the big Bitcoin crash, $5,400 at the beginning of this Corona thing. I'm going to really, really tank. And everyone's like, it's over, all this crap. I put a tweet up that I still retweet to this day saying, you're all pussies. Bitcoin's coming back. I think I said, I'm buying $600,000 today and you'll, we can talk when it's 8,000. I think I said that. About for 600 grand to like $12 million. Yo, they said that Moonbirds wasn't acquired. They said CoolCast would stay independent. They said Filecoin wasn't a buy at $5. They said d Gods would get a $20,000 airdrop from Wormhole. They said Daniel Allegra is a great CEO. They said Bodogos isn't the top NFT project. Keep down. Look at us now. So if an asset was at $1 billion and it could make it up into the top 10, you could, in theory, rip a 32x. Unless you've been living under the rock the last couple of days, Bitcoin has hit 66,000, which is pretty close to their all-time high of 68K in 2021. And this basically signals the next crypto bull run. And I know this because everyone on Instagram told me so. Thankfully, they gave me advance warning of about two days ago when this was already in progress. So it's like they're oracles or geniuses because I don't know how they could see something coming that's already happening. It's pretty crazy. And what's very interesting about crypto, if you're not aware of this, is that it usually goes through cycles. Much like the stock market, you have ups and downs. And with crypto, it's similar. You have bull runs, turtle runs, and, you know, bearish periods, which is something we're coming out of. But the thing is with crypto, there's a lot more emotion involved. You know, there's definitely people on Wall Street pulling their hair out. But imagine that except on Discord servers with kids who are literally losing their mind because they use their parents' credit card to buy some XRP. RIP to all my XRP holders. Now, the thing is about crypto, what's amazing and scary is that you could take $10 and turn it into 10 million. And similarly, you could take 10 million and turn it into $10. I personally am smart enough and a genius enough that I took $50 and turned it into 5,000 with doggy coin because I knew that a coin that had a dog's face on it would actually amount to something that was worthwhile. And this is actually something that's indicative of myself and other very smart, very genuinely genius individuals known as crypto bros. We're people who buy crypto and then shove it in your face and let you know when it's successful. You know, I'll buy things like doggy coin, bonk, XRP, actually no, I never bought XRP. I'll buy things like Ripple, Bitcoin, ETH. And when I see that amount of money go up, whatever I bought it for, whether it's 10%, 20%, 30, 50, 10X, I will then let you know that I bought it, got a profit, and that you're a dumb, stupid, dumb, dumb, dummy for not buying it also. Now you might be wondering, how do I know that crypto is gonna go up? It's not because I've been bag holding for the past two years. No, that's not why. I've been very meticulously, very carefully watching the market and seeing the price go up. And when I see the price go up, that mean me make money. When me make money, I have to let everyone else know that I be making money. While people are working their nine to five, slaving away, waging in the cage, I'm on CRO, I'm on Bitcoin wallet, I'm on Coinbase, I'm over there making transactions, buying things. When I go to buy crypto, instead of using Bitcoin, I'll use ETH to avoid the gas fee. See, that's one of those very tricky tips that I give out on my Discord server, because I don't know if you can read and see the prices yourself, but I'm telling you, if you check out my Discord server and follow my course, you too can be a crypto bro genius. Now, of course, this is all satire. I'm not really a genius. I didn't know that doggy coin was going to be a billion dollar industry because Elon Musk decided one day to tweet about it. It is luck. It is retarded. It is delusional to think that certain coins will actually amount to anything based off of nothing because some coins such as Bitcoin, for example, have a purpose. They're popular enough and used enough where it's actually currency. ETH, Chainlink, they actually serve servers. They do things for crypto. They have some type of usability in the space. But then you get to coins like Doggy Coin, which honestly is a pretty funny meme, made me a couple thousand off of literally nothing. And then you get to things like Bonk, which is a new coin, which is a hilarious name, so obviously people buy it. And then you get to things like Shiba Inu, which is literally just an acronym or a synonym for doggy. And you start going down this wormhole of all coins that people are just pouring their life savings into just to hope to make millions. And in the odd case, shove it in your face. Because the weird thing about this 
is that a lot of people lately, because they're up on their crypto portfolio, have to come out and say, CCC, didn't you say that crypto was worthless? Didn't you say that Bitcoin was going to be nothing? Didn't you say that I was wrong and you were right? Well, now that I'm up, I'm totally not going to sell. I'm just going to take screenshots. But now that I'm up, I'm here to rub it in your face. I'm here to tell you that you're missing out. I'm here to tell you you're never going to escape the matrix. Me, on the other hand, that loan I took out and put in crypto and will never sell and I'll pay off the loan some way, somehow. I will succeed and you will fail. It's this weird dichotomy where these crypto bros, for some reason, have to say someone else is failing. They have to say you're an idiot for not believing in the crypto sphere. You're a dummy for not buying an NFT. You're a moron for not following their Discord server or their Discord course in order to understand the intricacies of crypto. And the funny thing is, is that this literally was a depressing period for all crypto mongoloids for the past two years because it was down bad, even though crypto supposedly not supposed to track the market, it seems like when the S&P was down, crypto was down, all of a sudden these dudes coming out the woodwork to flash their cash and rub it in your face. And the funny thing to me is, is that now that cryptocurrency is becoming a little bit more mainstream, it's becoming a little bit more well-known. I mean, honestly, it's at the point now where they have Bitcoin ETFs where boomers don't even need to make Coinbase accounts in order to buy Bitcoin. So that's definitely an interesting angle. I don't know if boomers are gonna figure out how to do rug pulls with Bitcoin yet. But now you have people who are trying to shill this information to legitimate individuals who are considering crypto as an investment. And I have to caution you, crypto is very, very volatile. And in no exaggeration, you can make an investment that goes 10x or divide that by 10, divide that by 100, it's going down, down, down. I personally am so delusional. This is how delusional I am. I actually bought a cryptocurrency whose whole purpose, at least it has a purpose, was to engineer, fund, and create social credit scores for the rest of the world. You know, social credit scores, the thing that John Cena learned Chinese for in order to be a good boy in China. Imagine that, but globally. This was something that was going to be pushed by Everest ID. I invested in it just because I'm afraid of the Chinese government. I think they're very powerful. If they did take over, I was going to use that money to barter myself a little bit of time in recess. But it didn't take off. It actually did take off, but not as much as I thought. It went from it went from being worth about three thousand dollars to now being worth about 150 bucks. Even with the crypto bull run, it is not doing well. Now I had a purpose, an evil purpose. Oh man, I'm sorry. I apologize. I don't feel this good since the last time I invested in Smith and Wesson brands, and it only went up because of violence. I don't like that. I don't like making blood money. That's disgusting to me. I'm gonna put it in my bank account to pay the bills, but it's still disgusting to me. So. I don't want to shill fake crypto. I don't want to sit here and tell you that I'm not bag holding, hoping for something to happen. I'm a bag holding piece of garbage. But the thing is, there's crypto bros out there that are using people's FOMO, using people's regret, using people's basic naivety to say that crypto is guaranteed to go up. Bitcoin is having. That means when Bitcoin has, Bitcoins become more popular. Bitcoins become more valuable, which is true to a degree because mining becomes less of a resource. But it's not guaranteed. There is no guarantees with crypto. And the moment that governments decide to ban them, because no matter what, crypto is a legitimate currency. Now that boomers have a hand, it's probably not going to get banned. But it's still on the internet. You still need access online. Do you understand how many boomers want to buy a Bitcoin and they don't know the URL to their wallet? Like, do you understand you want something you don't understand? And listen, at the end of the day, if you're a crypto bro and you're out there pushing out your memes, your hot garbage, I respect you, I appreciate you, but just remember in about six months to a year when you're bag holding bad and people are making fun of you, there's a reason why. And even worse, if you give people illegitimate investing advice, especially if it's your uncle or your shady aunt, they're gonna basically look into Bitcoin and if they buy it and it goes down, they might come after you like Joe Pesci in Casino. They might crack your head open because they didn't make a return on their investment. You were talking about 10X, they got 10 division. And listen, they're not gonna be happy. And when they come after you, I'm not gonna be there to protect you because I personally believe you deserve the beatdown for being such an insufferable piece of garbage. At the end of every single video, make sure you ask people to rate and subscribe to your content. It makes them feel like they're involved even though they're really not. And most importantly, make sure they comment on every single video. If you have to, disguise it. You know, call it something like the question of the day. And really make them think you're going to really read it when you really don't have to. Ha ha ha!